Today we'll be making water bottle labels and we'll be designing these in Canva and then we're going to cut them out with our Cricut machine. If we're just meeting right now, hi my name is Nisha, welcome to Little Craft Nest. Let's jump onto Canva.com and get crafting. Canva is a free design program that you can use. There is a paid version of Canva called Canva Pro and I do have Canva Pro and I love using it, but don't worry, you can still make these water bottles without Canva Pro. Now, once you have created an account, this will be your home screen here. We're gonna start off by going up to the top right hand corner and click on create a design. And then scroll all the way to the bottom and click custom size. Before you type in your dimensions, make sure you change it from pixels to inches. And the dimensions I'm gonna use are 8.5 by 1.5. Four. Now you can take the label off your water bottle and measure the size of your label, but I find this size typically will work for any size water bottle. Keep in mind you will want a little bit of overlap at the ends so that you can tape it on your water bottle. Then go ahead and click create new design. Now you can fill up this template with whatever you want. I am making water bottle labels for a graduation. So the first thing I'm gonna start off with is a background. So if you go over to the left hand panel, go down to the bottom and click on background. Now you can search for backgrounds at the top or you can scroll through the different categories here. I like using gradients. So if I scroll over here, I like this blue one because the school color is blue. So I'm gonna click on that. And I actually want it to be a little darker. So if we go up to the top and click on our color square, we can change the color. So I'm gonna click on this colorful box with the plus sign in to add a new color. And I'm just gonna pick a bit of a darker blue. And I'm happy with this color, it looks pretty good. You'll notice that at the top left-hand corner, it's a little lighter and then as we go down to the bottom right hand corner, it gets a little darker and I'm really liking the look of these colors. The next thing I want to add is a photo of the graduate. So I'm gonna go over to uploads and I have already uploaded a picture of my graduate. So I'm gonna click on that and add it. If you wanna upload an image to Canva, all you have to do is find your photo on your computer and drag and drop it onto your canvas. Now I would like to remove the background from this photo. So what I'm gonna do is click on edit image at the top and then click on BG remover. Now, if you do not have a Canva Pro account, you won't be able to remove the background from this photo, but you can remove the background from the photo before you upload it. So if you have an iPhone, you can remove the background from your photo easily right on your iPhone. If you don't know how to do that, I do have a quick video on that, which I will leave linked down below in the description. Another place that you can go to is the website called remove.bg so that you can remove the background there. But because I do have Canva Pro, all I have to do is click on BG Remover. And the background from that photo is now gone and that was super simple to do. Now I do want this photo to stand out a little more. So we're going to scroll down on this left hand panel here and then under FX Effects we're going to click on Shadow. And I'm going to click on outline and that puts an outline around my graduate. Now it's in black so it's a little hard to see so I'm going to change that to white and I'm going to put a him off to the side here. Now I feel like this label needs some gold so I'm going to go over to the left hand panel and click on elements and this is where you're going to find all your clip art and graphics and shapes. So I'm just going to type in gold in the box at the top and we've got a bunch of graphics here you can click on see all and I really like this first gold image here so I'm gonna click on that and that is now on my canvas and I want to stretch this out across the canvas and then I'm gonna click on duplicate so if you have your image selected right above your image there'll be this little plus there just click on that and that will duplicate your image and we can have another one and move it to the side here, but I'm actually gonna flip it. So let's go up to the top and click on flip and we can flip this horizontally. And now these images are mirroring each other. Now it doesn't quite meet together at the middle. So I'm actually gonna make this one slightly bigger 
I'll delete that first one and then duplicate this one again so that it's the same size and I'm gonna flip that again. All right, that looks pretty cool. Now I'm not too worried about the gap in the middle because I wanna put something else there. But you'll notice my glitter is covering my graduate. So I'm gonna click on that glitter, go up to the top and click on position. And then we can send our gold glitter to the back by clicking on to back. And now my graduate is in the front. Another thing you can do is click on layers and that way you can see all your layers in the order that they're in and you can move your layers around that way as well. So in the middle, I want it to say grad class of 2024. So we're gonna bring in some text. So over on the left-hand side, you can click on text and then add a text box. Now it's super tiny, it's really hard to see in the middle, but we'll change that in a second. I'm just gonna type out grad all in caps here and our font size is only four, that is really small, so let's make that bigger. There we go, I can see that now. And I'm gonna move this up a little bit here, and I'm gonna change the font. So you can click on your text, and then go up to the top, and we can change our font selection. So I already pre-selected one, so I'm gonna type it out. It's Norwester, and there it is, and that's the font I want to use. Now I'm gonna add another text box, and this time I'm gonna type out 2024. We're gonna make this a little bigger, just stretch it out. And then I'm gonna add another text box and type out class of. And I think it would be fun to add a little banner in the middle. So I'm gonna go back over to elements and I'm gonna search for ribbon banner and see what comes up here. So under graphics, I'm gonna click see all and then just scroll through these and see what I get. All right, I like this one right here and it's actually a free image, not a pro image. So if you don't have Canva Pro, you can use this image. So the images here that you see with crowns, those are for if you have the pro subscription. If they don't have a crown there, they are absolutely free for you to use. So I'm gonna click on that ribbon and that looks pretty good. We're gonna stretch it out. And I'm gonna change the colors of this ribbon because outline is brown. I actually want that to be black. So if I click on the color box at the top, we can go and change that under default colors. The first one there is black. And then the ribbon color here is a cream color. Let's make that white. So I'm gonna click the other color swatch box at the top and we'll change that to white. Now, I can't see my text class of because it is white as well as the banner, so I need to click on that text box again and change that color. Let's go and make that black. And I'm gonna zoom in a bit so we can see what we're doing on the screen. Now, to make this text look like it's flowing with the ribbon, we can turn our text and try to angle it the way you want. You could also click on it and go up to effects and then go down to the bottom of the effects panel and you can click on curve. And if you scroll down a little more, I actually want it curved in the other direction. You can grab that dial and you can curve the text so it curves with your ribbon. Now, I like the word class on here, but of is curving up where I don't think it should curve up. So I'm gonna delete the word of and we'll do a separate text box with the word of in it. So I'm gonna bring the word class here and then add another text box and we'll type out of. And we need to make sure that the same size font. So this font was 16.6. Actually, let's just make that 17, make it simple and then we'll make the word of 17 as well. And then we'll be able to turn the word of, but not have it on a curve like the word class. If you wanted to, you can even curve the word of in the other direction. So if we go back up to effects and go over to that curve, we can adjust the curve there. Now let's adjust the color of our other text. So I'm gonna click on grad. We're gonna make this black, and I actually think it would pop better if we had a border around it. So I'm gonna go up to effects, and I'm gonna click on outline, and you can adjust the thickness of your outline right here. Right now it's at 50. Let's bring that in a little bit. So now I have it at 24, and I want to change that color. 
So under color, you can click that color box there. And I wanna select gold to go with our gold sparkles here. So I'm gonna click the plus color box and then click on this little Doppler here. And then we can pick out one of these gold colors from these little flecks here. So you can see what color you like the best. All right, and that color looks pretty good. So now let's do the same thing for 2024. All right, this is starting to look really good. I just wanna add one more thing. So let's put some graduation caps on the side. So back over to elements and I'm gonna type in grad caps and let's check out some graphics here. So I'm clicking on see all and let's scroll through these. These ones look really cute. They are a pro image, so you can only use them if you have Canva Pro, but I'm sure if you scroll through, you'll find other grad caps, maybe like this one or this one, that you can use that are free. So we're just gonna slide these right over here. All right, and I'm really liking this. So let's go ahead and download this, and then I'm gonna show you how to upload it to Cricut Design Space. So let's click on Share and then click on download. And right now the file type is set as a PNG. We're gonna leave it at that and just click download. So now I'm gonna open up a new project in Cricut Design Space. What you're gonna do is click on upload, click on upload image, and then you can either browse for your file by clicking on browse or drag and drop it into Design Space. And then click on continue. There's nothing you need to do on this page here, so you're gonna click apply and continue. And here you're gonna select flat graphic and then click continue. You can give your image a name, you can add some tags if you want, and then click on upload. And then here is your design in Cricut Design Space. One thing you'll notice is that we've got a warning mark in the layers panel beside our water bottle label. And that's because the size of our design changed from the original size we made it in Canva. So what you'll need to do is go up to the top and under width, we're gonna have to change that back to 8.5 inches. And that's the size we want. Now there's still a warning symbol here. This is just probably telling me it's low resolution for the image. Usually that's not the case. I've never had a problem with printing out designs from Canva in Design Space. So don't worry about that warning. We're gonna click on Make. And the paper size I'm using today is eight and a half by 11. So make sure underneath your print then cut image, under material size, it says eight and a half inches or letter size paper. But if you're using A4 paper, you would select that here. Now, as you can see, we've got a lot more room on this paper to put a few more labels, and I hate wasting paper, so we're gonna add a few more on here. At the top left, where it says Project Copies, we're gonna change this from one, and we're gonna go up to four, and then click Apply. Now, it looks like there might be enough room for a fifth. Let's try that. I'm gonna do one more and click Apply. Oh, and look, we can get five water bottle labels on one sheet of paper. That is awesome and then we're gonna click on continue and then click on send to printer and I'm actually gonna leave the bleed on for this the bleed basically extends the color of your image around it so that if your calibration is just slightly off you're not gonna get a white line where the cut mark should be but I do recommend calibrating your machine before you begin your print then cut projects. I'm also gonna turn the toggle on for use system dialog. So then go ahead and click on print and your system dialog box normally pops up behind the design space application. So we're gonna have to move our design space application out of the way and there is our print box here. So make sure you're printing in color and then under media and quality quality, we're gonna select our media type. And the paper I'm using is glossy paper, so I'm gonna select photo glossy paper. If you don't have that setting with your printer, just choose whatever's closest to the paper you're using. And make sure your quality is set to best, and then go ahead and click on 
print. Here is the glossy photo paper I'm using. It's for an inkjet computer. I got this off of Amazon and I'll leave a link for it below in the description. This paper I got is pretty thin, so it's not like your thicker photo paper. So it is great for water bottle labels. You'll notice that one side of the sheet is matte and kind of feels like paper and the other side is glossy. So we want to print on the glossy side and because I'm using an Epson EcoTank printer, my side I print on it needs to be facing down in the tray. So make sure you put the paper in your tray the right way. And then you can go ahead and click on print. Then once it's printed, you can put it on your Cricut mat. Make sure you're laying it on your mat the same way it appears on your screen. I like to use a brayer to secure my material to my mat. I find it works really well. And I also put a scrap piece of paper on top of it when I use the brayer, just in case any of the ink comes off my page. I don't want my brayer to be covered in ink, so I just lay that on top when I use my brayer. And then because we're using shiny paper, grab some matte scotch tape and just cover up those registration marks with it. And that just helps your machine pick those registration marks up better because sometimes the light will reflect off your page and your Cricut will have a really hard time reading those lines. For our material setting, I'm gonna click on browse all material and then type in photo and we're gonna use the photo paper setting and then click on done and we'll let the Cricut cut this out. Before you press the flashing buttons on your machine, you may want to move those star wheels out of the way and push those to the side before you begin to cut so that the wheels don't go through your picture and leave any marks. Your Cricut will then scan the registration marks in the corner so it knows where to cut and then it should only take a minute or two to have all your labels cut out. Once your water bottle labels are cut out, you can go ahead and peel them off the mat. Then I'm grabbing a glue tape runner to add some glue to the back of my labels. Make sure you get the ends because you don't want those ends sticking out too much. And then just wrap your custom label around your water bottle, making sure those two ends line up together. I just love how this turned out and it's just such a fun project to make for any party or event that you may have coming up. If you have fun creating with me in Canva, check out this playlist next for more crafting with Canva tutorials and I hope to see you on more crafting adventures.